everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, you might think that the racism, bigotry, and sexism that flourish in the high-tech world is a new thing. The truth is, it's baked in. It was, in fact, the very foundation of the industry. Thomas J. Watson, the founder of IBM, founded the company in the 1920s, and their very first customer was the Eugenics Records Office in Cold Spring Harbor, New York, which had undertaken a project to identify mixed race people on the island of Jamaica so they could be forcibly sterilized. IBM punch cards and computers were used to record the data for that project. In 1933, Watson found a new customer, Adolf Hitler's Third Reich. Bombing runs by the Luftwaffe, train schedules for transporting Jews to concentration camps were products of IBM computers. And the concentration camps, every one of them had an IBM room where the lives and deaths of millions of Prisoners, mostly Jews, were recorded on IBM machines. Hitler even awarded Watson a medal for his service to the Third Reich. After the war ended, Watson turned to South Africa, where his machines were used to classify and segregate the population there. But IBM no longer stands alone in this endeavor. Now other high-tech companies are, for example, operating at the U.S. border, helping Trump engage in the atrocities that are being perpetrated there. Too bad they're not being used to help keep track of families so that they can be reunited. An MIT researcher was attacked by Amazon when he demonstrated built-in racial bias in their facial rec recognition technology. Google supplied Dylan Roof with misleading false information on black-on-white crime, which helped fuel his desire to kill black people. Computer programmers used the term garbage in, garbage out to summarize problems in computer programming. This is not just true about programming errors. It's also true about our biases, both conscious and unconscious, that find their way into computer algorithms. Technology has the potential to help the human race advance in any number of ways. But it also has the unfortunate potential to spread, strengthen, and promulgate hatred and intolerance. And there's a lot of that happening nowadays. Thanks for listening. Well, I want to thank you all for watching my videos. But there are certain changes that Google has made to YouTube, which since I'm a smaller channel, means that I can't monetize my videos. So I found places where I can. So instead of watching my videos here on YouTube, I'd appreciate it if you'd go either to Patreon or to uh, Top Buzz. Uh, they, they let me monetize videos and I don't even have to put commercials on. So if you want to become a patron on Patreon, that's fine. If you don't, you can still watch the videos there. I've just kind of given up on YouTube. YouTube is just a place that I use so that I can put my videos in other places. So, Patreon, Top Buzz, the links are in the description box. Thanks a lot.